with permanent color, it's just like, you know, there's a party in your cortex and all color molecules are invited. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys don't mind the living room background today. I have like five million things to catch up on because I was sick all last week. And so I didn't have time to set up my little, you know, fabric background. Blah, 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 blah. So in my last salon education video, I talked about color theory, okay? And in that video, I told you guys that I would talk about the types of hair color and break it down for those of you who do not understand. Just as an introduction, right? We're talking about hair, all right? So this is hair. You guys know I love to draw you know when i'm talking about hair so this is a strand of hair basically magnified you want to imagine that you're looking at it at a strand of hair like this so say it's it's basically like a straw right so you're looking at it this way and this way it's like a cylinder right so this is when you're looking at it from the side this is when you're looking at it this way so hair uh, is composed of three parts that's the cuticle which is this brown part here the cortex, which is this part here, and the medulla. When we're dealing with hair color, we're gonna be dealing with the cuticle and the cortex of the hair. Again, this is looking at it from the side, so this is the cuticle of the hair, this is the cortex, this is the medulla. We never get into the medulla when we're dealing with um, hair color and chemicals and that kind of thing. And if you do, then your hair is gonna fall out. <laughs> Moving right along, there are two types of hair color, okay? There's non-oxidative hair color, and then there's oxidative hair color, okay? So non-oxidative colors are not mixed with a developer. Oxida oxidative colors are mixed with a developer. So for non-oxidative colors, we have temporary and semi-permanent. So temporary colors are, you know when you go to the Halloween store and they have like that spray that you can spray on your hair to turn it orange or whatever, something like that, and then you wash it, and then it's washed out, that's gone. So that is temporary color. It's a form of non-oxidative color. Another form is semi-permanent color. So this is like if you go to Sally's and you see like Manic Panic hair dye, you just put it directly on the hair and it washes out over time. It's not going too deep into the hair, okay? So oxidative colors, that's when we get into demi-permanent. So semi and demi-permanent are two different types of color. Demi is a little bit stronger, longer lasting than semi-permanent. And then permanent color is permanent. So yes, non-oxidative colors, oxidative colors, and then developers come typically in 10, 20, 30, and 40 volume. In other countries, I don't think it's legal here, but in other countries they do have um, higher volumes of hair color, like a hundred volume and stuff like that. See, I used to work with somebody, I think it's illegal here, but I used to work with somebody who used to get it shipped here on the low low, okay? And that stuff is so strong. I remember touching the bottle of it and like my finger burned, okay? So we don't mess with that here in the States. See our beautiful strands of hair that um, we drew? So then, so temporary color. The color molecules in temporary color are large color molecules. So if you're looking at the strand of hair from the side, see the brown cuticle here, and then the cortex and the medulla. So these are the color molecules. So temporary colors, they just literally sit on the cuticle um, of the hair strand, and then when you're done wearing it, you wash it out, it comes out, whatever. Semi-permanent, so semi-permanent hair color has large and small color molecules. So like I said, colors like Manic Panic or any of these like vivid colors like Pravana Vivids. It, whenever you dye your hair like blue and pink and purple, it, it's going to be a semi-permanent color. And um, so this sits on the cuticle and then some, some small... Um, Color molecules penetrate the hair cuticle, so it gets ever so slightly, if you can see that there, it gets ever so slightly into the cortex, but it doesn't go too deep. So then this will last a couple more washes. This will last just one wash. You wash your hair, it's gone. This will last a little bit longer. So that's why hair colors, you know, when people dye their hair green and pink and blue and whatever, those kind of colors, they don't last and you need to constantly refresh the color. It's very high maintenance color, but if you have the time, if you have the money to do it, then go ahead and do that. 
Next, we're getting into Demi Permanent. So in a lot of my in salon videos, I use a lot of Redken Shades EQ. That is Demi Permanent. And that is what I use to tone hair. And that lasts about four to six weeks. So Demi Permanent color molecules are small and then they sit on the cuticle of the hair, but then they also get into the cortex here, as you can see, my beautiful artwork, right? <laughs> but it's deposit only. And deposit only means that it can't lighten the hair. It can't lift the hair. It's not strong enough to light, lighten or lift the hair. But when you get into permanent color, see this has small color molecules and see how if you compare this in this hair strand with permanent color, it's just like, you know, there's a party in your cortex and all color molecules are invited, <laughs> all right? So see how it's just, this, these are all the color molecules. It's deep into your hair, it's permanent. It's not gonna come out. The only way that it could come out is if you do like a hair color remover, but then even still, it's not, the, it's not gonna be true virgin hair again. Um, now with permanent color, not only can you deposit color with permanent color, but you can also lift the hair or lighten the hair. But let me talk about that really quick. With permanent color, there's only so many levels of lift that you can get. You can only lift the hair maybe two to three levels max, okay? And in my last video, I talked about levels. So if you wanna go watch that, I'll leave that link down below. And if you're planning to lift or lighten the hair without using bleach, then the hair has to be virgin, okay? As a rule of thumb, you cannot lift color with color, okay? Let's say it again, okay? Say it with me. You cannot lift color with color. Now, what that means is, say if I dyed my hair dark brown, okay? I dyed my hair dark, dark brown, and now I wanna be blonde. So my hair is dark, it's a level four, let's say, and I wanna be a level eight or a nine. If I were to get a level eight permanent color and put it on top of my dyed colored dark hair, it's not gonna budge, it's not gonna do anything. It may turn into like a weird kind of color, but it's not gonna lift the hair because you cannot lift color with color. If you wanna lighten color, you have to bleach the hair, use a color remover, that kind of thing. You cannot lift color with color. Let's say it again. You cannot lift color with color, okay? And again, with permanent dye, there's only so much lift you can get anyway, even with the high lift. It all depends on the hair, it depends on the texture. It, you know, a lot of different factors factor in, <laughs> okay? with hair color, so, you know, only a professional can really tell you, you know, what steps that they're gonna have to take to achieve whatever it is that you want. So for those of you out there who, you you know, you're natural brunettes and you're like, I wanna be platinum blonde, but I don't wanna bleach my hair because I don't wanna damage my hair. You're not gonna reach that using permanent color. It's just not gonna happen. I'm telling you that right now. It's not gonna happen. If anything, your hair could probably get up to like an orange or something like that, maybe and after that, you're still gonna have to bleach it. So yes, permanent dye deposits and lifts if you're going lighter. It also um, just deposits hair if you're going darker or whatever, covering grays, that kind of thing. And the only way to get rid of it is to use a hair color remover or bleach it out or grow it out, cut it off, whatever. It's permanent, okay, girl? It is in that cuticle and that cortex. See all the little color molecules? Now, moving right along, um, let's talk about lightener, okay? Also known as bleach. In the salon, we don't really call it bleach, but since most people call it bleach, you know I'll say bleach, but we usually say lightener. Usually comes in a powder or an oil or cream form, okay? So lightener basically diffuses color molecules. So if you look at this before strand of hair, you see all the little color mo molecules peppered throughout after you see you still see color molecules because you do still want to have pigment in the hair if you have no color molecules in your hair girl then your hair is dead and it's about to um come out because it's basically so a strand of hair let me actually rip out a piece of paper so imagine a strand of hair like this like it's a straw right okay here's here's a strand of hair like i said if you flip it that way Imagine this white part is the, the cuticle of the hair, and then you have the cortex and the medulla, which is right in the middle, right? Um, if you take 
so much pigment out of the hair, take so much out of the hair, then it's basically going to be an empty straw, okay? There's nothing left inside of it. It's going to be an empty straw. Um, the pigment's gone, everything's gone, the elasticity is gone, everything's gone from the hair. Then it's going to break off. So this is why, if you ever, <laughs> if you watch my crazy uh, client chronicles, this is why you can't really have like true white hair, like just white. You can give the illusion of having white hair, but once all that pigment and everything is gone out of the hair, it's basically going to be an empty straw and there's nothing left to it. And it's like, what's the point? Do you want to be bald? If you want to be bald, you know, dye your hair white or compromise your, the, the integrity of your hair, go ahead and do that girl. But your hair needs some sort of something in it. It can't just be an empty straw. Um, so anyway, that was kind of a tangent, but Lightener, like I said, comes in powder form or oil or cream form. Um, so typically, if you're if you're doing on the scalp lightening, you're gonna want to use a cream or oil. But it just depends, you know. Technology in the hair world has advanced so much that you don't really have to. It depends on the it it depends on the product. Um, but for the most part, if you're doing on the scalp lightening, you're gonna do an oil or cream form. If you're just doing foil highlights, balayage, that kind of thing, you're gonna do a powder. Or, you know, they're interchangeable. Like for me, when I get highlights, I use an oil or cream form just because it's just more gentle and I have fragile hair as it is. So that is how lightener works. You do mix lightener with a developer. Lightener is technically, it's not even, but it, it's, it's oxidative, but it's not a color. Does that make sense? It's lightener. It's, a, it's in its own category. Now that we have discussed the different types of color, I just want to recap on some things really quick that um, as I was sitting here, I think I really was thorough about. So yes, temporary colors, you spray it on or else hair color, mascara, that kind of thing, one wash. Semi-permanent lasts a couple more washes, but it still maybe lasts one to two weeks, something like that, depending on how often you have to, you wash your hair. And the hair has to be lightened before you apply a semi-permanent color. Unless you're already a blonde, say you're already a level nine blonde naturally, and you just put in a pink, a pink streak of hair or something like that, then the, the color is more than likely it'll take, you know? But if you're a brunette and you put a semi-permanent, say you do like a manic panic hot pink over your brunette, it's not gonna show up. If anything, it might have like a, a like a, a cast of pink or purple or whatever in the sun, but it's not gonna show up. It has to be pre-lightened, okay? Now with demi-permanent, so when I used to dye my hair, I think maybe a year and a half ago or something like that, I used to dye my hair super, super dark, almost black. I didn't use permanent color, I used demi-permanent. And that's because I was just afraid of the commitment of dyeing my hair really, really dark. I didn't wanna dye it permanently because I know myself and I know I like to switch up my hair a lot. So Demi Permanent, if you're gonna go darker, it's a great option because it's not permanent. Another way that I use Demi Permanent colors, because again, it's deposit only, is if I pre-lighten the hair, if I do highlights, and then I tone the hair. So whenever you hear me say toner, gloss, um, some stylists also call it a varnish, that kind of thing, it's gonna be Demi Permanent. That's what a toner is. A toner is Demi Permanent color, okay? So say I do like, I'm doing highlights on somebody and their hair pulls really, really brassy and I wanna cut um, the brass out, then you can refer to my other video that I did about complementary colors and what colors cancel out each other. And I would put, I don't know, something like an ashy toner over that person's hair um, because it's just gonna deposit color onto to the lightened hair and cut any brassiness and that kind of thing, okay? so. Those are the two instances where you would use Demi Permanent. Now, permanent color is when you want to permanently color the hair. So, say if I did want to dye my hair black and I wanted it to be permanent, like I know for the rest of my life or until I cut off or grow my hair, I want to have black hair, red hair, that kind of thing, then you could go permanent if you want. Also, permanent hair color is gonna be, um, it's gonna cover grays, okay? Demi permanent will not cover your gray hair. So if you have gray hair and you wanna cover your roots, you're gonna be using permanent color. So, those are the instances in which you would use demi permanent and permanent hair color. 
So for lightener, obviously you're taking pigment out of the hair, you're removing pigment, this is used, bleach, lightener, that kind of thing, it's used when you want to go lighter, when you want to, you know, you're starting off with your natural color or it could be dyed, you know, uh, permanently colored hair, whatever you start with, okay? Then you would use a lightener to lighten or lift the hair, okay? And then you would use a toner if you want. Sometimes, like, if somebody's a natural blonde, usually when I do highlights on their hair, their hair just looks beautiful. It, it just lightens perfectly, but those are very rare. <laughs> those are like unicorns in the hair world, okay? So nine times out of ten, I'm going to use a toner after I use a lightener on hair. But... Yes, that is it, you guys. I hope that the way I explained the, the different types of hair color, I hope that it was comprehensive for you. Um, let me know in a comment down below, did you understand what the heck I'm talking about? And yes, I know it's complicated. It is complicated, okay? It takes a lot of practice, a lot of studying, a lot of hands-on experience, which is another reason why, you know, people who get mad and they're like, oh, you're giving away our secrets. like. Okay, um, I don't know about you, but the first time I learned about hair color in school, I still didn't know what I was doing after 1600 hours. So, whatever, I'm secure in my job and, and myself. So, mm, I don't know about you, girl. So, anyway, and guys, oh my gosh, I always say, I, I always say girls, and then there's always somebody who's like, don't forget, um, our industry has males in it too. And I'm like, okay, I know, it's just, I'm just so used to saying girl, okay? I'm sorry, I do want to acknowledge. The guys out there watching so anyway that is it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys learned something and you guys will see me in my next so thank you so much for watching bye